Go ahead, Lisa. Okay. Um, I was talking to Jerry last night and sharing with him the story of Yvonne's salvation. And he said, Lisa, you need to write this down. And then he said, Lisa, everyone needs to hear this. So I did write it down, and I named it Yvonne's Journey into Heaven. So I'm going to start briefly from the beginning in case people that are listening don't know about Yvonne. Um, my cousin Yvonne was diagnosed with ALS about a year ago, and it's, bul was, it's bulbar ALS, which affects your throat. So her voice left her last summer sometime. Um, so she's been communicating by writing and thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs down for about a, nine months now. Um, so I, when I found out she had this about a year ago, I went to visit her. And I began talking to her about eternity, about heaven, about God, the love of God for her. And she admitted to me that she did not believe in God. And so... As I visited her, sometimes I would bring her I bring up scriptures about God. Sometimes I would just mention creation, the flowers, the trees. I'd point outside. We'd be sitting outside, and I'd talk about how only God could make something like an oak tree and a, a tree coming from a tiny seed, Yvonne, you know. And I talked to her, um, just different things like that. Sometimes I would read scriptures to her with her permission. And then sometimes I would just love her and just spend time with her. Well, she was moved to a facility in Venom Springs about two or three months ago. So, but when I would go visit with her, she always rejected belief in God. She told me that we were brainwashed and that there was no eternity. That when we died, we just died. That's what she would tell me. That's what she wrote down on a piece of paper. So, a week ago, Friday... March 18th, I had planned to go visit with Yvonne. And I, my plan was to read scriptures to her about heaven and about salvation. So I had typed up scriptures about salvation. And when I got there that day on that Friday, I found out that she had pulled her feeding tube out. That she was beginning the end of her life. And I asked her, did she want to be put back in? And she said, no. And I said, well, Yvonne, we have to accept that. And um, her, her son's girlfriend was there, and she said, thank you, Lisa, for saying that. That brought comfort to her, to Sarah. Um, I, I asked Yvonne, um, when I found this out, you know, that she pulled the feeding tube out, I'm thinking, okay, Lord, today I've got to read these scriptures. I've got to speak to her about heaven. And I had mentioned, Yvonne, the day before on Karen's Bible study, at the end of the Bible study, I have mentioned Yvonne to everyone and asked everyone to pray for her. And Dee, who's on that study, had sent me a text message and said, Lisa, why don't you tell her about heaven? Maybe she'll want to go there. And I thought, how precious, how precious is that? So... I, um, later that day on Friday, this is a week ago, Friday, March 18th, I asked Yvonne, and I always ask permission, I said, um, Yvonne, I asked her if she wanted to hear about heaven, and she gave me a thumbs up. So I told her about the streets of gold, the walls of Jasper, that there would be no pain, no tears, that we would have brand new bodies. Then I said, we will all be there with our loved ones who have believed the gospel, and she started crying. So um, I um, also, towards the end of my visit, we things calmed down, and towards the end of the visit, I, I asked her, could I read her scriptures about salvation? She gave me the thumbs up, a thumbs up. So I read scriptures testifying to that our sin separates us from God, how Christ paid for all of our sin on the cross. And that Christ was buried and rose again so that we can have a new life in him by believing in what Christ has done for us. By grace are you saved, not of works. It's a gift of God. I emphasize gift to her. There was, there was no response. This was at the end of my visit. She pointed to the door and wanted me to turn down the thermostat, which was by the door. Um, I asked her if she wanted me to go. She gave me a thumbs up. The next Tuesday, which is this past Tuesday, my niece Melissa went to visit her. 
and my niece is part of her hospice program. And Yvonne wrote down on the piece of paper, W-I-T. So Melissa said, Miss Yvonne, do you want me to pray with you? And Yvonne gave a thumbs up. So Melissa prayed, and then Yvonne started crying. And um, Melissa said, Miss Yvonne, do you want to go to heaven? And Yvonne gave a thumbs up. So Melissa said, well, I know my Aunt Lisa's been talking to you about how to get to heaven, so what are you waiting for, is what Melissa says. She says, you can have peace now till the time comes. So Melissa called me and shared this with me. So the next day, Wednesday, March 23rd, this past Wednesday, I went to visit Yvonne. I got there about lunchtime. I decided I'm walking in the door, and I'm giving her a brief gospel, very brief, very clear. I said, Yvonne, our sin separates us from God, but God wanted to fix that. So he sent Christ to die for our sins. So if we recognize that our sin separates us from God, and we believe that Christ died for our sins, was buried and rose again, we can have eternal life, and we are going to heaven. There wasn't much response. I kind of don't remember at this point. Just there was not a response. So my a very, very close family friend came shortly to visit Yvonne. Her name was Laura. And she and Yvonne hugged and cried together. And then shortly we had to leave the room because people were coming in. So Laura mentioned to me, we're sitting on the sofa, Laura mentioned to me, uh, she said, Lisa, my pastor could come see Yvonne and talk to her about heaven. She could, he could talk to her. And I said, you know, I'm not sure Yvonne's going to be open to that, but I can just ask. I'll ask her. So Laura had to leave, and then I went back in the room and helped Sarah and her mom, Kathy, move Yvonne from the, from the recliner to her hospital bed, and it took us about an hour. As soon as we were done, I mean, Yvonne is waving, go, by. She keeps waving like this. I'm like, oh my goodness, she wants us to leave. So I thought, I hesitated. Kathy and her mom left, and Sarah and her mom left, and I thought, I thought to myself, Lord, have I done all that I can do? Have I done everything, Lord? So I decided at that point, sharing salvation again would be overbearing. God does not force us into salvation. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to ask her if she wants that pastor to come by here. So I, I said, Yvonne, do you want Laura's pastor to come see you and talk to you about heaven? She gives me a thumbs up. And I thought, God, I've got to be sure. So I walked around to the other side of the bed, and I looked her in the eye. I said, Yvonne, are you sure? Do you want Laura's pastor to come talk to you about heaven? She gives me a thumbs up. So I walked out the door. I kissed her goodbye and told her I loved her. I texted Laura, walked out the, into the hallway, that she would said yes to the pastor. And I immediately thought of the scripture that says, I, Paul, have planted a tallest water, but God gave the increase. The so pastor Nix and his new associate, Pastor Stone, they arrived at 5.30 this past Wednesday evening. They were told to knock on the door and walk in, so they did. Pa pastor Nix said, I know you don't know me, Miss Yvonne, but I was told that you wanted me to come here and talk to you about going to heaven, about heaven. I know your time is short on this earth, there are many people who love you and are praying for you. Jesus loves you. God loves you, is what he said. Do you, he says, do you have any kind of religious or church background? And she does a thumbs down. Thumbs down. Miss Yvonne, do you want to go to heaven? Thumbs up. Do you know that sin separates you from God? Thumbs up. Do you believe that Jesus died for your sin? Thumbs up. Do you believe that Jesus rose again from the dead? Yvonne smiles, smiles, but she does not do much, and gives a thumbs up. I'm thinking maybe that's the point of her salvation. Only God knows. He goes, Pastor Nick says, Miss Yvonne, and I'm going to pray with you a prayer for you. I know you can't speak. I'm going to pray a prayer for you, and I'm going to wait for you to respond, and if you agree, you just give me a thumbs up. Dear Lord, I realize that I am a sinner and that Christ died for my sins. Yvonne gets a thumbs up. 
I believe that you died to pay for my sin. Thumbs up from Yvonne. I, I believe that you resurrected to give me new life and that your new life now lives in me. Thumbs up. At this moment, Yvonne, the Pastor Nix is on her right side holding her hand, her, holding her right hand. Pastor Stone's on her left side just standing there. And as, as Pastor Nix is asked, praying this prayer with Yvonne, she's squeezing his hand, squeezing his hand, and doing the thumbs up with her left hand. So at the end of the prayer, Pastor Nix says, Yvonne, welcome to the family of God. And Yvonne then looks to Pastor Stone on her left and reaches her hand up to hold his hand. And then Pastor Stone prayed a prayer of rejoicing with Yvonne while both of those men are holding her hand. I praise our Lord for his salvation of Yvonne. I thank him for all of the prayers, for all of the visits, for all of the scriptures, and for all of the ones who, were, who spoke words of salvation to Elon. She's going to heaven. <laughs> Amen. She's going to heaven. We'll be with her in heaven soon. Her days are numbered. I'll be with her tomorrow again if she's still with us. And uh, thank y'all for letting me share this beautiful story of salvation that God let me be a part of. I say praise God. Yes, praise the Lord. That's that's so wonderful to hear. Um, yes. You know, that uh, it, it makes me think of that verse, 2 Corinthians 12. Uh, My strength is made perfect in your weakness. When I am weak, then, then am I strong. And, uh, you know, here's somebody who was an atheist who didn't even believe in God. But when she gets so weak, then Christ is strong through her. She believes the gospel and is saved. And so... that. That's what it's all about. So th thank you for sharing that wonderful testimony. Thank you. You're welcome, Eric. Praise God. You're welcome.